Example 3.8. In this example, we have air flowing steadily from a tank through a hose of given diameter and exits at the atmosphere using a nozzle, which diameter is also given. The pressure of the tank remains constant at 3 kilopascals, which is gauge value, and the atmospheric conditions are standard temperature and pressure. We need to determine the flow rate and the pressure of the hose at the different points. To analyze this problem, the first step is to be able to write the conditions at each one of the points. We have three points, so we have one, two, and three. The information that we know is that at point one, the pressure is equal to three kilonewtons. We also know that it has an elevation of Z1. We know that the fluid is stationary in the tank, so the velocity is equal to zero. And since it's not moving, we cannot count for continuity, so we do not address the dimensions. For pressure at point two, we don't know it, so that's an unknown value. The elevation is given to be Z2, and notice that the streamline is horizontal, so Z1, Z2, and Z3 are going to be constant. The velocity at point 2 is unknown, and the diameter is given as 0 0.03 meters. For P3, we assume that the, the pressure is equal to zero since we have atmospheric conditions. We got Z3, and once again, these three quantities are the same. The velocity at point 3 is also unknown, and we know that the diameter is equal to 0 0.01 meter. Notice that we have three different unknowns, so we need to be able to at least get three different equations to solve this problem. We could use uh, Bernoulli's equation and continuity from two different points. Let's start with a comparison between point one and point two. Since point one is a stationary point, notice that we cannot apply continuity, so we will only apply Bernoulli's equation. So we say that P1 plus one half rho V1 squared plus gamma C1 is equal to P2 plus one half rho V2 squared plus gamma Z2. The two locations are along a horizontal streamline, therefore we are able to read, get rid of values of Z1 and Z2. Also the fluid is a stationary at point 1, so we are able to get rid of this point. So we could simply say that in this relationship P1 is equal to P2 plus one half rho V2 squared. So we have our first equation. Then we have the uh, relationships between point 2 and point 3. Because in these two points the fluid is moving, we could do both continuity and Bernoulli's. So let's just start with Bernoulli's. We do P2 plus one half rho V2 squared plus gamma Z2 is equal to P3 plus one half rho V3 squared plus gamma Z3. Once again, the values of Z cancel each other. And we also know that the pressure at point three is atmospheric, so it's equal to zero. So we could relate uh, pressure at point two is going to be equal to one half rho V3 squared minus V2 squared. And we're going to take this as equation number two. The next equation is going to be Bernoulli's. And we could simply say that it's going to be rho V2 A2 is equal to rho V3 A3. And if we apply the different areas, we have rho V2 pi over 4 capital D square is equal to rho V3. And this is pi over 4 lowercase d square. Please note that we are assuming for this case that the air is incompressible, so we're able to cancel the density and cancel pi over 4, 
Therefore, the relationship becomes simply B2 is equal to D squared divided by D squared times B3. And this is the third equation. Notice that we had three different unknowns, pressure at point two, velocity at point two, and velocity at point three. And now we have three different equations, so we could solve for the unknowns. Before we do that, we need to determine what is the value of the density. This is an air. We could use ideal gas law. So we could simply say that the density is going to be equal to the amount of pressure at point one divided by R and T at point one. Notice that the problem says that is atmospheric uh, conditions, pressure and temperature. So we could say that the pressure as it was given, it was three kilopascals and it needs to be in absolute value. So we add 101 and this is going to be kilopascals. The value for R that we're going to use is going to be 2.286.9 newtons meter kilogram Kelvin. And the temperature atmospheric is going to be 15 Celsius. So it's 15 plus 273. By doing these calculations, we obtain the value of the density to be equal to 1.26 kilograms per meter cube. If we do a little bit of algebra, we will be able to determine the values of the different velocities and the pressure at point two. So we find that velocity at point two is equal to 7.67 meters per second. Velocity at point three is equal to 69 meters per second. And the pressure at point two is equal to 29.63 pascals. We could also determine the value of the flow rate by multiplying velocity at point two times area at point two or velocity at point three times area at point three. And the value that we get is point zero zero five four two meter cube per second. Please go back and make sure that you're able to do the algebra for this problem and get the same problems. Notice that we could also do Bernoulli equation from point one to point three in, for us to be able to get the third equation. However, for this particular problem, you could only do continuity between point two and point three, since point one, the fluid is stationary. Therefore, continuity is not valid at that particular point.